Hello Sagittarius and welcome to One Sagittaria. My name is Robin and today Sagi we are going to do a general reading. We're just going to find out what's going on, what's going towards you in the next couple weeks, what you need to know about. So it is a general reading. Take the messages that resonate, leave the ones that do not. And for those of you who are interested, I have opened up personal readings. So the link is in the description below. And for everyone else, let's get into your reading. So we have peace, exchanging gifts, and unfinished business. Well, actually it says I'm sending symphony, but it really means unfinished business. <laughs> so Sagittarius, I wonder if somebody is coming in to offer you some peace through the form of a gift. That's how that appears to me. Let's talk and see what this is. So there's somebody who has some unfinished business. This is like the world in reverse. They got something to say. They need some closure, but it looks like they don't want to close things. They want um, to make peace and they'll be offering you a gift. Maybe it's a tangible gift. Maybe the gift is just the gift of being right and having peace, compromising, whatever this is. Let's see what this is. Talk to us. What's going on with Sag? What is this? Who are they making peace with? Ah, three of cups. Okay. So, well, obviously it's from, from, from the past, but <laughs> isn't it funny how the cards match up? I love it, right? Fucking awesome. All right, let's talk. So, could be with this King of Swords. <laughs> Aries Leo. Oh my God. You know what? A King of Swords. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius I was watching one of the Sagittarius videos. I don't know from how long ago because they'll just pop up on my feed and I say that's when my my video is for myself and like past Robins giving like fucking future Robin advice. It's really strange. But um, when the King of Swords came up, I said the same thing. Aries Leo Sag. I was like, what the hell? So I don't, I don't know how many times I've said that stupid thing and no one's pointed it out to me. But we all know that Aries Leo and Sag is us. <laughs> We're fire. So I'm sorry about that. I apologize if I've made that mistake more than once. So the Three of Cups, the King of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Devil in Reverse. It's pretty obvious to me what's going on here. This King of Swords, um, Gemini Libra Aquarius, <laughs> is returning here um, to to make a peace treaty. They want to make, they want to have peace with you. Whatever this is, let's see who this person is. We can get to the bottom of this. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Devil in Reverse. We have the Chariot in Reverse. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands. They think you're beautiful. There you are, Sag. Beautiful, sexy, handsome, gorgeous, whatever gender you are. Don't... Oh, the magician. And on the bottom of the deck, the princess of wands in reverse. So that's the page of wands in reverse. So um, definitely un, like an unhappy king of swords. Um, the overall energy is like no, it looks like no, like no um, I don't know, no curiosity. It's like I feel like you don't really care. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Um, that's weird, but that's just kind of how I feel. Let's see what this is and who this person is. So talk to us about this King of Swords. What is this relation? Who is this person? It is a general read, so I feel like for for different... Ooh, is that seriously the King of Swords? The Hanged Man and the King of Swords and the World. This person means fucking business, Sag. Whoever this person is to you, if this is a lover, if this is a friend, if this is an old employer, whoever this is that's making this return, they mean business. Like, they've seriously been stuck here, um, constantly thinking about this, analyzing this, working on this, trying to figure out, oh, how to work on this with you, how to get this new cycle. This person is, um, this person means business. I wonder what kind of gift they're coming, let's see, because there's, the, right? The exchanging gifts in the Ace of Pentacles, which is like literally a hand giving you a gift. So this person is going to get, bring something in order to try and make peace with you. What is this kind of funny? I think what did they better be bringing you a gift? Um, the four of wands in reverse with the ace of swords in reverse. Like they've had some serious clarity. This is all about disharmony in the home, disharmony in the relationship, in the partnership, in the friendship, in the employership, whatever this is. They've had clarity and they're not very happy. They, they're they ready to get some success with you. With the devil in reverse, that, let's see that. Because that's, um, you might not, the moon in reverse. They might, okay, hold on a second. I want one more card just to get the right vibe here. Talk to us. No, I don't want to take the bottom. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, um, this person, <laughs> this person, if they were not willing to change in the past, if they like the, if they were not willing to compromise, if they were not willing to budge, like this was like an overbearing parent who you're like, give me freedom. And they're like, no, I'm making all these rules. Or if this is like an ex who was just not willing to change within the relationship, whatever this is for you, Sag, they are willing to give this a shot. They've had the tower moment. They're willing to change. We have the tower in reverse with the devil in reverse We have the moon in reverse and we have the hierophant upright. Damn. And there's the knight of cups, <laughs> right? Like the, I can't, it's, it's, 
they're going to tell you everything. They're going to just be really honest with you. They want um, a traditional relationship. So like whatever they are, whatever this person is to you, they want to fix this. They're willing to buy you a gift or bring you something um, to create this peace treaty and compromise with you. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying peace treaty. That's kind of funny, but that's absolutely what's coming out of my mouth. So they're willing to change now if they weren't in the past. What's this chariot in reverse? I think it's going to make you feel stuck. Okay. Seven of cups. You have a choice to make. There's the king of wands. There's a little bit of drama, mama. So I feel like this is a, um, a tough choice for you. You are, um, I feel like this is just you trusting your intuition, thinking about things. Maybe you're dreaming about this. Maybe you're waking up stressed about this, but the four of cups is all about not wanting to, it's about in this deck, it's different in different decks. And that's the thing about this deck. Um, if we interpret it normally, it's going to be about not seeing the opportunity in front of you, not seeing it. But the way that I am interpreting it at this moment is you looking at the opportunities in front of you and trying to figure out which is the right one. So um, you're making some choices here. You're making some decisions. You're feeling a little bit stuck. You don't want the drama. This is very unexpected. I'm not entirely sure you've seen this person coming with this offer. So I think this person is going to catch you off guard. And that's probably why they're going to bring a gift to like butter you up, sweeten you up, you know, <laughs> put you in a good mood. <laughs> oh, shit. Um... <laughs> I don't know if I can say what I'm saying in my head, but, um, <laughs> okay. So where I am, okay, let's just say maybe they'll bring you like a joint or a drink of alcohol or something, you know, just like, Hey, have a drink, have a smoke a joint, have a cigarette, whatever that, that, um, that substance in your life is that you prefer. <laughs> I feel like that's what they're going to bring. I don't know why that came in my head. If you like wine, they'll be bringing you a bottle of wine, baby, whatever that is for you. But I did see a joint. Um, I'm in Canada, so it's legal here. Um, but I shouldn't talk about it. But Queen of Wands, they see you as, um, I feel like this is you in your power. I feel like this is you in, um, <laughs> you know that, you know, I don't know. Let's see. This could be, I know this is you. <laughs> Let's see why you're in the Queen of Wands mode. Let's see what they're trying to tell us. Uh, oh, it's on the bottom here. The Page of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Strength. They see you as um, as very... If, it's, if this is like a love or if this is an attraction, they see you as really gorgeous, really sexy, really... They, they want you. They desire you. They've been watching you. They've been lusting you. But if this is... Um, they want to drop that. They don't... Like, this is lust. Major lust for this Queen of Wands here. And then for those of you where this is not love, this is just you standing in your power. Very charismatic. You're funny, outgoing. They want to be around you. They want to, they're keeping their eye on you thinking, damn, I want to go, I want to be on the dance floor with Sagittarius, or I want to be at that campfire with Sagittarius drinking that wine or whatever that is. Um, they want to drop this conflict and they, they, they want this with you. They want to rekindle that friendship, the partnership. They want stability with you. They miss having you in their life. Um, I'll say it that way. With the magician, they're manifesting you. What I, I can't fully tell is, um, oh, yeah, they want a new beginning. That's what it is. You're still hesitant. That's what I was about to say. You're, they want you to drop their your guard, though. Let's see how you feel about this. How does Sagittarius feel about this? Like, I know that you're examining your options. We see you here examining your options, looking fly. Um, but how do they feel about this person returning this? this how do they feel about this person? Tacos. The Knight of Cups. Maybe you like the gift they brought. <laughs> Maybe they brought the white, right brand of wine. Or, yeah, right brand, right brand. Oh, and the four of wands and the queen of cups. Okay, so, just, so yeah, you got a lot of love for this person. Um, you're happy when you're around this person. If it's love, you're in love with this person. If it's friendship or, you know, you really have fun when you're with them. You miss hanging out with them. You miss, you know, it's like... Um, you miss your best friend, your buddy, or maybe it's your work friend. You know how you have that work friend? It's like when your work friend's not there, it's like, I miss my work friend. Um, whatever that is for you. This person, um, I do see for many of you, it's going to be a couple, but they have a piece of your heart. There's a strong connection to this person. So I do feel like you want to hear from them and you want to rekindle this, but you're still examining your options. You know, shit happens. You weren't talking for a reason. <laughs> there was, you know, right. Um, but they really want to work this out with you. So, and those are your feelings, like, damn, Saj. <laughs> uh, Nine of Cups, Four of Wands, Queen of Cups. So, you also, a part of you, wants to work this out as well. So, let's get your Oracle messages, and then we'll find out the outcome of this beautiful reading of ours. Um, you know, sometimes, like, like I, I think I said before, one time, like, a few weeks ago, like, July readings popped up on my YouTube. I thought, hey. <laughs> 
So who knows when this will be married? <laughs> it will be someday. I'm certain of it. All right. Sagittarius, what do you have to surrender to when it comes to the situation? Surrender to prayer. So give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers will support will arrive and surrender to complete healing. So open fully to being, okay, open, open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. And the lesson, what is the lesson that Sagittarius is supposed to learn from this King of Swords? What is the lesson that Sagittarius is supposed to learn here? Gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So being thankful for the little things in life and the energy oracle message. I feel like a commercial when I say that, you know, remember those, um, those chocolate, remember the orange chocolate commercials? I don't know if you guys remember those, but I didn't really like the orange chocolate, but the commercials were very memorable. <laughs> All right. The energy oracle message. Talk to us. What does Sagittarius need to hear? What message do they need right now, please? Um, oh, look at this. Wow. Sag. The sun, the happiest card in the deck. Let's get your message because when one comes out of the book, the message isn't here. Oh my God. When one comes out of the deck, the message is in the book. So the sun upright brings blessings to the earth and this card portends blessing in your life. Just as the sun nurtures the earth, bringing new life to spring and summer. This is your time for new beginnings. The onset of nurturing new light in your life, the light of divine inspiration and personal growth. This card often marks a time of great creativity, bringing the culmination of an important new project, such as the birth of a baby or the writing or publication of a book, or even the birth of a new you. Now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth and vision. Visualize the light of divine love pouring into your heart and mind like the rays of the sun, bringing the inspiration, growth, and abundance blessings. See the future you want to create and know the sun is shining on your intentions now. Fucking A. All right. Let's just see if the cards want to say anything else and we'll get your potential outcome. What message do you have for Sag? <laughs> what else do you want to say? What else do they need to hear? What will benefit them? Okay. So the Page of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Coins in reverse, which is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Knight of Swords. So um, I think it's pretty clear what they're saying here. So... Um, whether this is advice to this or not, sometimes this is completely different, but it's time for you to stop um, giving to people who don't give to you. Uh, that's just what it says. This is like the card of stop, like stop depending on this person because they're cutting your fingers off. They're not helping you. <laughs> they ain't your friend. Um, don't work on that. Don't give it to them. So someone or something in your life, maybe it's this, this King of Swords. Maybe it's telling you don't overextend yourself to this person. Maybe forgive, maybe, but don't, um, don't lose yourself in the connection and the relationship i feel like maybe sad you might have been in the past the type of person and maybe with this person they did something about them or maybe it's just in general but that gives too much eight of pentacles and the six of pentacles you're giving to people who weren't giving to you um and it doesn't want you to do that anymore so stop that cycle um no matter what connection you are no matter how you feel to this person if they're not giving to you then do not give to them um so yeah it wants you to move on from that cycle so that's what it wants to say there all right, interesting message, interesting message. Let's get, what the hell? Four of Wands again. <laughs> Let's get your potential outcome. So I say potential, Sag, because there's always free will. I say outcome, but really, where are you going to be in a month from now with this person? What do you, what do you, I was going to say, what do you decide to do? And then choose came out and just came cha. Cha, cha, cha. So what is Sagittarius? Where are they standing in a month from now? Are they accepting this offer from this person? Are they accepting this peace treaty? Are they friends? Are they foes? What's going on? Came out pretty quick <laughs> but the queen of wands is upside down can't help but notice that all right let's talk about this there's the ten of wands in reverse so we have the ten of cups we have the queen of wands in reverse we have the king of wands then we have the three of pentacles in reverse with the five of cups with the page of cups so it's like you're you're this person you want a connection with this person. You feel a tie, you feel a bond, whether it's friendship, love, relationship, but you don't know if you can move past it. And I feel like trying to get over some of these things is creating drama and conflict, trying to remove the burden. Your intuition is guiding you there though. There's the page of cups. So the intuition is guiding you towards this person, but as with anything, in order to resolve the past, there's going to be drama, there's going to be talks, there's going to be 
discussions that have to happen. There's healing that needs to take place on both ends of the situation. I feel like with the Queen of Wands in reverse, um, part of that healing obviously is you because it came up, told you to heal. <laughs> uh, I'm real insightful. But um, they're looking at you and they want to heal this with you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, so it's all about communication as you go through these conflicts. Do you want to say anything else about that Three of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, yeah. There is going to be the disheart and it's going to take a lot of courage. It's going to take a lot of compromising, a lot of courage and a lot of um, understanding to get through those conflicts. But I see you doing that. I see you wanting to do that, which creates uncomfortable conversations and uncomfortable moments. But that's what I see you doing with this person, Sag. So I do see you here trying to work it out, but it's not all uh, butterflies and rainbows. Uh, there's some disharmony here, but you're still, you know, putting yourself out there. They're still reaching out. You guys are still working on it with each other. And I just want to see if there's anything else you want to add to that. Because we do have the King and Queen of Wands. Let's point that out. So although there's drama and you're a little upset at the moment, or in a month from now, there's a soul connection with this person. Whether it's, you know, your mother, your auntie, your brother, your sister, whoever, your lover. Um, there's a tie here. It's not someone that you want to remove. Is there anything else you want to say? And we'll close out your reading, Sag. Yeah, there it is. The Seven of Pentacles. You both want to work on this. You both want to invest in this. But right now, you're a little pissed off. Um, but that's okay because, you know, you got to process the anger. You got to deal with it. You got to deal with them. That's just life. <laughs> There's ups and downs, ebbs and flows. Um, but you're working on it. So, Sag, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoy your reading. Um, if you do, don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. And I always make a little pose there, but you can't even see me. So it's kind of fucking weird. I don't know why I do that. Anyway, <laughs> it helps my channel grow. It helps others see the reading. Let's get your yes or no question to uh, close out the reading. Yes or no? What is the answer for Sagittarius? The answer for your question is no. So, Saji, thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.